Uh, greetings subscribers, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and happy Mother's Day. Yeah, out at uh, Expressos and Exotics this morning. Wasn't sure what the turnout was gonna be, especially with the uh, high wind warning, but um, it's absolutely beautiful. So, uh, we'll just burn through the cars real quick. I'm not gonna make this vlog very long because uh, I'm just, man, I'm tired. Up late last night, had uh, two car shows, Boulder City, uh, just running around. It was a lot, so. Oh, yeah, I'll try to shoot. Uh, let's get the other way around. So, uh, I see Al's still out of commission and uh, a couple of the usual suspects. Still doing work on this place, so we don't have the line of, well, I guess there's a few of them up there, but that's usually where all the Austins park. Um, and as you know, that is my absolute favorite. I mean, that design. So cool. Yeah. If I was going to go the Ferrari route, <laughs> it'd definitely be this. This thing. And this one's our buddy Tom. He just got this in, uh, I don't know, it's been a couple weeks now. I wonder how many miles he doesn't have on it. But, and uh, this is your 488 Pisa. This is your F8, F8 Spider. He was talking about it. Now, if they would have taken this design and put it on the front of that, but you know, aerodynamics. I mean, if you look at the difference here, uh, this stuff is like totally cool. So aerodynamics, uh, and then, you know, not a fan of that. Not a fan of the little, uh, you know, skin tag door handles, but you know, to each his own. GT3 RS, hell of a track car, uh, and actually probably better than a GT4. But look at this thing. And that's a wing. Yeah. Nice little line up here. So it's uh, May 8th, Mother's Day. Hang on. You know, and I was going to pull right up there on the curb too. Uh, it's May 8th, Mother's Day. And it's also, uh, you know, we had the show off Sunday or the Team Ford event. That was May 1st. So that was the first Sunday. This is, you know, the second it kind of creeped up on, on everybody. And being Mother's Day, wasn't sure what the turnout was going to be. But, uh, you know, it's actually uh, not too bad. And with the wind, it was horrible yesterday. So we barely get any vlogging in. But uh, this is, um, kind of, we jokingly say Corvette Row. We'll go over there and take a look at that Caterman. Oh, actually, let's head over there now. This little Catamarans, uh, Super 7s, so fun. On the track, they are unbelievable. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, look at this. You, you can't really turn this thing too sharply. After, like, so you've been driving for like 20 minutes. There's absolutely there's no way on the ground. Than yourself. That and again, the gas tank's back there too. Okay. Um, these things are known for kind of, they have predictable yeah. gear. And the Cheddar Wedge, of course. Any reason to get this thing out on the road?
Is the Mustang yours? Yeah. Uh, just let me know when you, if you go to leave. Okay. <laughs> it's because we're pretty close. I'll just, oh. I'll just pull up a little bit or so. I tried to park at a little bit of an angle, but there's not much room. There's not much room, so. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't sure what the turnout was going to be, you know, Mother's Day and all, and the wind yesterday. The wind yesterday was terrible. Michaels, qui vale? People are never sure exactly what this car is. And uh, somebody brought out the goat. Look at this. I mean, that's fine. It is open. Oh, man, love, love the tail light or the headlights. It's vertical. Again, pre 70s. Tom, how's the car? How many miles you got now? <laughs> Probably. More than the other one. Really? You've been driving it, huh? Yeah, I've been. This is my car now. I know. I already have took 350 you. miles or something. Wow. The other one, I, I did 950 in <laughs> two, two years. Two years. <laughs> here, I did here, here to here, and that yeah, was here, it. Here, I did 350 in, in uh, like, two weeks. Wow. Two weeks. Well, good. Congratulations again. It's beautiful. No one ever, we always pick on him, and nobody ever knows what kind of car this is. It's your Ferrari, man. You should, uh, you should know. It's a Ferrari, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Ferrari. Get serviced at the Ferrari dealership. Yeah, Finiferina. Did the design on the outside. Yeah. Like Fisker did the Aston Martin. Yep. And who did this design? Audi. Audi. <laughs> it is an Audi. <laughs> it is an Audi. Yeah. Mine's Lamborghini with Lamborghini motor at least. Yeah, this was yeah. the first Audi influence. Actually, it's not even Audi. It's Volkswagen. It's Volkswagen yeah. Audi. It's the it's, it's the a VW conglomerate engine. It's the conglomerate. It's a, it's a four cylinder VW. Engine. <laughs> yeah. It's four cylinder and there's three of them. <laughs> it's four cylinder, there's three of them. <laughs> I had the pre I had the pre LP Lambo gotcha. and that's a, that's a Lamborghini. Oh, you did get that? <laughs> yeah. Well, Man, they got, a, they, got, they got a lot of car owners in Montana. And they're all yeah. here for Mother's Day. This freeway's gonna be busy. The bull. Yeah. Well, this is the one that everybody then gets a little sticker that says HDMI one or two. Yeah, because it looks like an. It looks like well, greetings, subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog, and happy Mother's Day. Yeah, out at uh, Expressos and Exotics this morning. Wasn't sure what the turnout was going to be, especially with the uh, high wind warning, but. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. So, uh, we'll just burn through the cars real quick. I'm not gonna make this vlog very long because, uh, <laughs> just, man, I'm tired. Up late last night, had, uh, two car shows, Boulder City, uh, just running around. It was a lot, so. Oh, yeah, I'll try to shoot, uh, let's get the other way around. So, uh, I see Al's still out of commission and, uh, a couple of the usual suspects. Still doing work on this place, so we don't have the line of, well, I guess there's a few of them up there, but that's usually where all the Austins park. Um, and as you know, that is my absolute favorite. Look at that design. That is so cool. Yeah, if I was going to go the Ferrari route, <laughs> it'd definitely be this. And this one's our buddy Tom. He just got this in, uh, I don't know, it's been a couple weeks now. I wonder how many miles he doesn't have on it. But 
and uh, this is your 488 PSA. This is your F8. F8 Spider. He was talking about it. Now, if they would have taken this design and put it on the front of that, but you know, aerodynamics. I mean, if you look at the difference here, uh, this stuff is like totally cool. So, aerodynamics. Uh, and then, you know, not a fan of that. Not a fan of the little, uh, you know, skin tag door handles, but you know, to each his own. GT3 RS, hell of a track car, uh, and actually probably better than a GT4. Uh, look at this thing. And that's a wing. Yeah. Nice little line up here. So it's uh, May 8th, Mother's Day. Hang on. You know, and I was going to pull right up there on the curb too. Uh, it's May 8th, Mother's Day. And it's also, uh, you know, we had the show off Sunday or the Team Ford event. That was May 1st, so that was the first Sunday. This is, you know, the second. Glaggity, glaggity, glaggity. This one's pretty cool looking. I wasn't gonna bother saying any anything when we're over by the bikes because you wouldn't have been able to hear it anyway. For sale. Little speedster, are you kidding me? Alright, well, there you go. Anybody who's looking for a speedster replica, because it's not a real one. I think there's only what three, five, something like that. There you go. Morning, how's it going? Just we'll, sneak them by. Yeah, we'll throw it online with the vlog. If somebody wants to buy it, I well, guess. Somebody was telling me there's a website called Call It or you pick it up. Like oh, bring a trailer. Bring a trailer, bring a trailer is a big one. Uh, that's yeah, that's a lot of people use that. The builder was saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, build a trailer and then they'll, uh, if you set a reserve or just let people bid on it kind of like kind of like a uh, ebay ebay motors so many guys here you know the nice cars they got in it it's the first words out of the mountain yeah how much you want for it they don't care yeah right they just want to know well i always wanted one i wonder how much it would have cost me to get one plus the auctions are coming up barrett barrett's coming up uh july second or whatever but i don't i don't know how well these do you know here in here in the west coast yeah i don't know anything about that i don't know well you can set a you can set a reserve and you know if you want x amount of dollars and it'll go on the it'll go on the auction block and yeah i don't want to be unreasonable but yeah well right now everything's everything's crazy <laughs> yeah we went we went down to uh scottsdale for their 50th anniversary uh down there it was it was unbelievable i mean there was there was also cars that should not like replica challengers chargers stuff like that that probably should have sold for 50 60 thousand they were getting like 80 90 100 whatever it's just it seemed like covid money people people had money they they just weren't able to buy anything or do anything and so uh plus people moving you know the money around it was you know interest rates being so low they you know a lot of people were uh, just buying so well you have people crying about the economy and the cost of gas but jesus if you yeah. talk to these corvette guys <laughs> they have two sometimes 
Yeah. I'll say too much because you might have a number. I've got a number of cars, but yeah. still. I don't know. Even if that, just enjoy them while you can. And uh, hey, if there's no gas later in the future, you know, oh, at least at least I've got so. That would be cause for mass revolution. Well, as per usual, it's once you change out administrations, uh, then things will go, you know, back to the when way they. That, uh, that one on uh, Eastern and Serene yesterday for chance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to that's cars. That's uh, celebrity cars and coffee. Yeah, oh, yeah, we go to that all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. every week, usually. Did you happen to see that little Tesla coupe? Oh yeah, yeah, the guy, yeah, the guy had the Tesla out. Yeah, God, that looks so cool. Yeah. I wonder why they stopped making them. Uh, well, he's making the Roadster. That's coming. That's, com what, that's, that's coming back. Said, that's coming back out. They've just been behind, and now with the chip shortage and other stuff, they oh, uh, almost everybody's having I bet you issues. That's be so cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you, yeah, they can't load it up with the batteries and the motors the same as like the Tesla Plaid, but yeah, it should be should be good. I mean, that's everybody's complaint about. The plaid basically is they just say, well, it looks like a Toyota Camry. Yes. And they go, yeah, sure, it's fast, but, but, uh, that's it. <laughs> they, you know, they don't like the interior. They don't like this. They don't like the looks, the style, and also for a lot of uh, the car enthusiasts, um, th there's nothing else you can do to it. So, like, you know, for a lot of people, you know, usually like online right now, there's a lot of there's a lot of like supercar bashing where they're like, oh, my Plaid is so fast and it's so much faster than your your supercar and everything. And they're like, okay, but see, like, so for like my car, for instance, uh, I have five five. Which, which oh, I have an orange uh, Lamborghini Gallardo oh, over there. Um, but for that, you know, a lot of people people like that will say, well, you know, it's so much faster than than your Gallardo. Uh, that has 500 horsepower and go okay but yours has a thousand horsepower so let me go let me go put you know double the horsepower in my car and and then we could go race i go but also it's it's just what quarter mile who who cares well, you're a, <laughs> i don't i don't quarter mile car, my car car guy so you'll know the truth of this the guy was saying First of all, he said the new coupe is going to be in the range for about 300k. Yeah, That's yeah, pro prob yeah, probably. And it's then the and then the supply demand is going to be ridiculous. Trying to. You but know. the thing he told me, and I guess just the world's getting even more complicated every day. But he said there's so much torque that when the car starts off, the wheels just spin. No, no. So he said they put in like a propulsions. No, 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 no. Actually, that's just the opposite because we test drove a, a P90D, a P, P100D back in the day, uh -huh. and uh, and with ludicrous mode and the traction control, it's just the opposite. The car will take off like, you know, zero to sixty in like under two seconds, you know, one point nine or whatever it is. There's no tire mark left because each each wheel that has different motors, as they start to slip. They'll they'll back off and adjust, and that torque that torque vectoring just takes off, and you you don't have anything. I mean, I get that with people on my car sometimes. They're like, oh, you know, uh, rev it, burn out, whatever. I go, oh, I can't really burn out. It's all wheel drive, and it's made to launch. It's not made to sit there and spin the wheels because, you know, how how people are always uh, impressed by people drifting and burning out and stuff. That's actually bad on a. For, from a car's perspective, if you're burning out, you're losing traction, which means you're not moving forward. So maybe it's just me that I come from, like either from drag racing background, quarter mile, where you want to hook up and go, or from the track, you don't want to go into a turn and lose traction, understeer or oversteer, or have the back end move around. I mean, that, that more is drifting became more of just a, a sport, you know, of doing that with your car. Otherwise, you want your car to be planted and moving and have traction and stick to the track so that so that you're in control. So, uh, you know, well, it, so it just very Again, I was. <laughs> seen a whole bunch of guys were telling me this. They say an electric car is much faster than a gasoline car. Yeah, yeah. Well, much, much well, that's uh, the Plaid. The Plaid is, uh, you know, uh, there's people lining up with... You know, you take like a Ferrari or something like that. And a Ferrari, it could even be twin turbo, 800 horsepower or something. And, and they plaid. put it up and they put it up against the plaid. And the plaid on a quarter mile will be like 10 car lengths oh, ahead. 
But at the same time, then you've taken a, a Chrysler, a, a, I was going to say Chrysler because it <laughs> looks like a Chrysler 300. You take a plaid and uh, you put it up like there's a drag times online. You put that up against, uh, they had like a, an old cutlass with 26 inch, you know, they call it like a hoopty, like a, you know, a, a ghetto looking car with 2000 horsepower and that car, you know, 10, 10 car lengths ahead of a plaid. So again, it, it depends on what the car is and what you're building it for, you know, and also one of the big things for, for people with, a, you know, any kind of naturally aspirated car or whatever is like this thing, I can always make this faster. I can always add a supercharger or a twin turbo or or do modifications to the to you know the ECU or I can uh, you know reprogram it. Just I can I can make performance improvements to the car and make it faster and handle better. On like a, a Tesla, like a Plaid, you can. So yeah, you can go there, buy it, get the key, put it in, <laughs> and you've got a thousand horsepower. But but that's it. You're you're not you're not doing anything more to it. And you also don't need any anything special. That's a, a big complaint for people is you don't you don't need anything special. So you could go there right now if you want to run if you want to run nine seconds in a quarter mile, but you can't do it you can't do it in this. But that's what you want to do. You just go there and buy it, and and get on the track and go. You don't you don't have to do anything. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right, I've got a Nash Metropolitan at home. It's uh, it's 52, you know, 60, 62 horsepower and 80 foot pounds of torque. It's not, that's it's not winning any races. That's what the original of these. <laughs> yeah, was yeah, yeah. They're like a Volkswagen motor, air cooled. Uh... <laughs> nice. All right, nice chatting with you. There you go. Very nice. The money shot. All right, get over here. Now, I'll speed it up a little bit because uh, a couple people are leaving already. Don't want that to happen. things over here man you remember I wanted one of those so bad back in the day oh, got here look at that I think we'll get uh, back over this direction. Not much going on over there. All right, well, uh, like I said, light crowd, Mother's Day. Um, still, you know, people out. So sorry about chatting, but you know, that's what happens here at the car, uh, at car meets. And uh, I'm trying to think next week is probably gonna be really crappy. Oh, man, leave this at roll cage standard <laughs> anyway uh oh yeah i almost forgot the lotus over here all right we'll get this one and then we'll wrap up this video yeah i you know i keep saying i don't think i'm big enough to fit in one of these but maybe i don't know i kind of like them they're cool
All right, well, before too many more people leave, I want to run through, get some photos. So we will see you on the next one later.